And now we're gonna look at the administration area of the, of the site. And I'm gonna log in. You, you can set your own login and password. And uh, here you have like different uh, sections, like add new content, content items manager. Like I said, like I told you before, you can add static content or dynamic that has intro and the main uh, part. For example, if you click on static content manager, we can see all the articles that are already published on the site and you can add another one, for example, clicking on here on this new button and uh, you can also select one article and put it into the trash or you can just unpublish so it wouldn't be visible on the site for example if you still didn't finish an article for example you can set it to be unpublished till you finish and then you can set it to be published uh, then we can go back we can uh, for example like I told you before about the sections we can add uh, custom sections for example we have flash, word tracker, SEO tools and block we can add like family, uh, gallery and then each section has uh, has categories and for example if you select block category you can see uh, this category for example SEO tools is under the SEO tool sections so you can also add the categories you can edit the names edit different specifications of each category you can publish it unpublish and move to another section for example and let's go back and uh, we can uh, look at the media manager, media manager, where you can upload the pictures, upload the video, upload the flash. Here you can uh, choose the uh, folders where you want to upload the files to your server. For example, movies and uh you can click upload and you can browse for your file on your computer on your desktop for example and then you just click upload and your file is going to be uploaded to your server now we're going to click cancel because we don't want to upload every anything and here you have for example menu manager uh, this is a uh, menu manager for the different menus for example we have like hidden menu that has like only sections uh, that I that I use for myself and nobody else has the access to it and then you have like menu 2 menu main menu that's on the top and you can add custom menus and we're gonna go back you can uh, change the language and you can uh, you can s use the German language for the whole site for example for the administration area and for the front end uh, you can add users here you have a global configuration where you put your uh, message where the, when the site is offline for example when the site displays error this is uh, this line of text going to be shown to your users and here you can set the name of the site uh, front end login you can set if it's possible or not uh, 
you can use which uh, what you see is what you get editor you're gonna use for the site uh, you can set you can use different editors that you can upload to the your administration area uh, and then this is you under local you can add you can set the language you can set the time country under content you can set uh, content options under server you can add uh, security option permissions and stuff like that uh, under metadata you can add global site meta description uh, you can set ca cache if uh, you, you enable caching then the site's gonna open quickly uh, because most of the parts of the website are gonna be cached you can enable statistics of the site and also SEO uh, I'm gonna also show you